Hello, welcome to the UWF Hydrobotics. I'm here today with the brand new Jetson Oren Nano Super. NVIDIA was kind enough to send this to me for free to start working on. It's an eight gigabyte module with a 1024 core GPU, 32 tensor cores, and a six core ARM Cortex 64 bit CPU. Let's start by unboxing it. So this lid just slides right off, and then these flaps open up on both sides. We have the Nano itself in the right, And then a little instructional manual. It doesn't say much. Here we have power cords and two different wall plugs. I had to bend this cardboard flap back to get them out. And it just connects like this. So let's look at setting it up. The little instructional does show what should be plugged into each port. Let's start with the power cord. Then this is a display port to HDMI that connects to the monitor, not HDMI to HDMI. So then you need a USB for your keyboard and another one for your mouse. These wireless mouse and keyboard chips are very handy for decluttering. Here's the back of the board. You do want an SSD card to increase the storage space, but it's not required to operate the board. I'll demonstrate how to set up the SSD card in a later video. Now that everything is hooked up, let's start with the setup. It's going to ask for your language, for you to connect to Wi-Fi, then your region, and will ask you to make an account. It's going to ask you to choose the amount of partition size to dedicate and to install Chromium. So to change to the super max in mode, which is the super mode, just click the 15 watts in the upper right corner and change to max in model. Now because my Chromium did not install, a second ago, we're going to install it via the terminal using this command. While that's downloading, let's talk about the Super specs. The Super has an increase in GPU, AI performance, INTB, CPU, and memory. It also has the max in ability, which draws 25 watts of power instead of the previous 15 watts. So with the higher performance, it does use more electricity, but you have to weigh your options. It has two MIPI camera connectors on the front, and practically all the same ports as the regular Jetson or Nano. However, it has had a great boost in performance. Llama 3.2 3B is something we will install next. As you can see, it has a 1.55 times performance increase on the Super. Here's a chart showing the increase in vision language models. And here's one showing the performance increase in vision transformers. You can find plenty of AI tutorials on Jetson AI Lab, but for now, let's speed this up.
Llama 3.2 3b is something we will install next using the following command. This shows each of the available Olama commands where you can use serve to start Olama and any others that you need. Now after some confusion, I've completed the next step in a different terminal to install and launch web UI. So if you look at the last instance of code here where the download began running, you can see the correct code. Make sure you have Chromium installed when doing this or else the terminal will not be able to access the files from open web UI from the website. So looking at the commands, dash D runs the container in detached mode, meaning in the background. Dash dash network equals host, connects the container to the host network, ensuring seamless connectivity. And then the dash V home slash open web UI data mounts a local directory to store model data persistently. Minus E Olama base URL just sets the Olama API base URL. Then dash dash name open web UI names the container open web UI. Dash dash restart always just ensures the container restarts automatically if it stops or if the device reboots. Then this final web address specifies the image name and version from the GitHub container registry. Once that is complete, we can go to the following web address this local host 8080, which takes us to Open Web UI, an AI assistant similar to ChatGPT, except you can store your own files in the system and ask it questions about the files that you stored. So let's get started with creating an account. You can select a model up here, or you can use the terminal to pull Llama 3.2. We're going to use the terminal. Now that this has been installed, We can run it and ask it questions such as, tell us a story. Here's the story it tells. While it's running, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more Jetson Orin Nano related videos. And make sure to check out the new Jetson Orin Super.